I've earned a bit of a reputation for making long videos covering oddly specific topics. Today's oddly specific topic is, do you actually need an arm guard? The short answer is, no you don't. However, some people make a really big deal out of not using one themselves or other people not using one. Now I personally don't use an arm guard for most of my bow reviews and my practice videos. You will see me use an arm guard when shooting my Olympic recurve and there's a reason for that. Before that, let's talk about what arm guards actually do. The arm guard guards your arm. This is New Sensei, thanks for watching, and I'll see you. But you might be wondering, if the arm guard actually protects your arm, how come I still hit my arm? Because the most common spot to get hit when you're learning is the elbow, here. And this is especially the case if you're learning archery at a location which doesn't teach you how to do it properly. So you're very likely to hit the inner part of your elbow. And that's what the arm guard doesn't cover. And because of that, a lot of people actually try to move the arm guard kind of lower down, but all that achieves is getting the string caught inside the elbow, which is even more painful. Uh, there are arm guards which protect the entire arm, but they're kind of over-designed to compensate for improper technique. The arm guard isn't intended to protect this part of the elbow because if you hold the bow correctly with the elbow rotated outwards, you won't hit your elbow. There are a couple of nuances to discuss. The first is how to actually hold the bow. If to hold the bow like this, you're going to naturally turn your elbow outwards. If you grip the entire bow in a very deep grip, especially if you bend your wrist, you're more likely to move your elbow into the path of the string. And again, we see many beginners do the whole uh, bent uh, wrist uh, with the fingers death gripping the bow. And of course, the bow is turning towards the elbow. So that's going to create that string slap, which we all dread, and you end up with black and blue all over the elbow. And of course, the arm guard won't cover that. So if you remember to grip the bow properly and turn your elbow outwards, you can shoot all day and never come close to hitting your elbow. And as you saw, I didn't hit my elbow or my forearm, so why bother with this piece of equipment? And the reason isn't so much to protect yourself from getting hurt, but to mitigate the effects on the arrow if you do hit yourself. Historical sources actually do support the use of arm guards. Uh, there are commentaries on English archery in the late Middle Ages, which make reference to the bracer, which was the leather guard used by archers. Now, the bracer's purpose is to allow the string to glance off the forearm in case of a bad shot, and that way the shot won't be fouled and still maintain most of its energy. And considering that historical longbows had fairly short brace heights, it was far more likely to hit yourself on the arm. If you thought being hit by a 25 pound string was painful, imagine being hit by a 150 pound warbow string. The preservation of speed is the same reason why modern Olympic shooters still use an arm guard. It's not because of safety, these are the best shooters in the world. You would think they wouldn't need to worry about this, but they're not concerned about their safety or their arm. It's more the fact that if they do have a slightly bad release, it might be a slight pluck, the string is displaced differently, it might cut across the arm, then it's not going to impact their score that badly. In fact, there are many modern coaching methods and coaches, especially the Koreans, who do emphasize that it's okay to hit yourself in the arm guard because given the way the human body works, 
to get the most efficient shot and especially for a lot of our smaller framed arches, we don't have a lot of muscle mass, therefore we need the maximum bone on bone connection, we have to bring ourselves very close to the string's path. And according to some coaches, as long as you can maintain a good shot, it's okay to tap your arm guard. It's actually not abnormal to do so. In fact, that's why we wear one. And the same goes for the chest guard. Uh, it's not because we have problems with hitting our chest, it's to give our upper body a smooth, low friction surface so that if the string does cut across the chest or the clothing, it's not going to snag and slow down. It's going to glide off. It might glide off the chest, it might glide off the arm guard, and you might still get a good shot. Does not wearing an arm guard prove you're a better archer? No, it doesn't. Uh, some people do make a big fuss about how, oh, you know, a good archer doesn't need an arm guard. That's true, you don't need an arm guard, but it doesn't mean that if you use one, you're a worse archer. To conclude, you don't need an arm guard. Now, as a beginner, you probably should have one because you're far more likely to slap yourself on the arm. But once you learn how to do it properly and you're proficient with your bow, it will be very rare to hit your own arm. That said, people still wear one just in case they do execute a bad shot and that way they minimize the negative effect of that shot. Anyway, this is New Sensei. Hope you found this interesting and helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.